Welcome to the channel, everybody. This week, we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of a custom custom. This is the Pilot Custom 823. So what is it that makes this custom so custom? Well, I mean, aside from the fact that I managed to miss my focus point on this intro video, the pen itself actually sports a very well done Bacchus fine cursive stub italic nib. Well, I mean, that and I've also coveted the 823 for a while. So when Andrew gave me the chance to borrow his, I figured I could use this opportunity to make good on a few requests to review custom grinds and review a great pen while I was at it. So let's go ahead and take a look. One of the first things that jumps out to me with this pen is the way that the gold trim perfectly accents the amber body. I had only seen this particular body style online, and I've got to say, a lot of stock photography of this pen does not do the amber color justice. And with the gold trim, I think it's a really good match. We've got Pilot stamped on the clip, and on the cap band, we do have Pilot Custom 823 made in Japan. And another thing that has intrigued me about the 823 is this vacuum filling system, which differs from the Con 40, Con 70, and some of the piston offerings like the Custom Heritage 92. And the vacuum end cap also serves a dual function. As you can see here, when you untwist the back cap and pull it out just slightly, it moves the plunger away from the feed, allowing more ink to get in. If you forget to do this and you go for a long writing session, you will find that your feed dries out. It also helps keep you from getting a lot of ink in the cap. As long as you've got it screwed in and you don't have that much ink in the feed to begin with, the pressure changes, like being in an airplane, aren't really going to have that much of an effect. But let's go ahead and pull out the nib, get some paper, and take a look at the highlight of this custom 823. So since we were using a pen that was such an unknown to me, I pulled out my old faithful Diatramentus Petrol. Like I said on a few other videos, this ink is a go-to for me because I know exactly how it's supposed to write out of virtually every pen I put it in. So when this pen ended up producing a much wetter line than expected, I was pleasantly surprised. In my experience, Pilot pens have tended to be on the drier side but the way that this nib was tuned, it produced a very consistent and very wet line, and that's something I really like. Even writing upside down, we don't sacrifice as much as I would have expected with being able to write with it, especially with how fine this nib is. We're still getting a good amount of ink on the page, and even though this nib was tuned for someone with a completely different writing style, it still managed to pull me in and provide a really nice experience. Now, size-wise, we're going to be looking at a pen that's similar to the Twisby 580 ALR. Now, a few of the differences that I noticed when writing, as you're looking over the specs here on the screen, is that the vacuum mechanism, because of how much less room it takes, gives you so much more ink than the Twisby's piston mechanism, and capped, the 823 is longer, but uncapped, they're about the same length. The section on the 580 ALR is longer, but the threads on the 580 are a little bit more obtrusive. The section on the 823 is a little bit fatter, which fits my hand a little bit better. And I really don't notice the threads, even when my index finger is resting right on top of them. And that is a huge plus for this pen, especially when I can see myself easily getting my own version of this pen with a broad or a double broad and then having a custom grind done to my very own 823. So overall, I've got to say, being able to borrow this pen and actually try it, even though it was a grind meant for someone else, really opened my eyes to two things. The first, I actually do love the look of the amber and gold. I thought I would be more of a smoke and gold person, but seeing this pen in person really makes me want that retro feel, and you can really only get that with the amber color, at least in my opinion. And the second thing is that this really opened my eyes to the quality of work that Mark Bacchus does on his custom grinds. I mean, his work really does speak for itself, and that's why he's towards the top of my list, if not at the top, for people that I would trust to modify a nib that I can't just go out and buy a replacement for. Pilot's one of those brands where they don't do independent nib sales 
like Pelican or some of the other brands. But that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Share these videos if you learned something or you think they may be informative to some of your friends. Don't forget to follow the channel on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below for that. And support the channel over at Patreon.com where you can get these videos early as well as some extras like uncut episodes of Two Guys Zero Planners. I'll see you next week.